Hi guys and welcome back to another TWG unboxing video and this time I'm continuing my look at the new Auric releases by taking a look at the Auric Weird Knob Shaman. Now this uh, miniature was kindly donated to me by Alchemist Workshops and you should definitely check those guys out. So let's kick this unboxing off by taking a look at the box. As you can see the miniature comes in this plastic clamp pack and on the front here we have the, uh, the painted and assembled Weird Knob Shaman. Now if I just remove this packaging here, we first of all get this little instruction booklet here which very uh, briefly explains how everything is joined together, the yellow sections um, pertaining to the areas that you need, need to actually uh, glue um, when assembling the miniature. And on the back here we also get a uh, QR code that if you scroll you get taken directly to the wall scroll. This brings us to the, uh, the miniature itself, so we get two sprues, I should take this out. Here, and we also get this, uh, the 40mm base here as well. So the first sprue contains the, uh, the, the Weird Knob Shaman's uh, staff that you can see here. Very this kind of large plume of smoke and the, the rest of it's attached there as well as the, um, the kind of the skull totem that sits on top of the staff as well. We also get the main body. You can see here this kind of very crooked arm here. A lot thinner than the, uh, the orcs that we looked at in the last video. Uh, not quite as muscular. Now the second sprue that we have uh, features the actual kind of large robe that the orc is wearing and you can see here we've got these tassels and various trinkets that are attached to it, these large horns across the front and also the, uh, the very crazy looking face that we've just got down here. So let's assemble this miniature and take a look at the finished piece. And here we have the assembled Weird Knob Shaman. The miniature was very, very simple and straightforward to put together. The instructions were quite clear and the components were also numbered which made life a lot easier when trying to find them on the sprues. Now in terms of casting, the quality really is superb. There's very little in the way of mould lines and everything fitted together really nicely. Also the detailing really is fantastic as well, especially when you consider the sculpting that went into uh, the plume of smoke that's protruding from the staff. Now unfortunately there really is only one pose that you can actually have in this miniature. There aren't any additional heads or arms or weapons that you can actually attach in order to give it a little bit of uniqueness. So if you're taking multiple Weird Knob Shamans you will find that they start looking very samey. However, this could be potentially rectified just by uh, applying a little bit of green stuff or maybe some component swaps from other kits. So now we've looked at the miniature itself, let's zoom out and get an overall summary for this miniature. So that concludes my unboxing of the Oracle Weird Knob Shaman. Now if you saw my last video you may remember that I was a really big fan of these new Oracle releases and this miniature really is no exception. What I really like about it is the fact that rather than it being big and bulky and burly like the other orcs that we've looked at, it's very thin, very spindly and it's kind of got this crazed expression which represents the insane powers that are kind of coursing through them and driving them crazy at the same time. It's a really nice kind of miniature and uh, really kind of stands out from the other orcs as well. Now as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I did get this miniature from Alchemist Workshops and the RRP is £20 and Alchemist Workshops currently have it uh, available for £15.50 so you should definitely check those guys out for some excellent savings across loads of uh, Warhammer ranges. So until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.